Hello. Well, Amazon is having a big sale on Schleich, and I have never had Schleich. I've got a couple of Papos around somewhere. I've got a woolly mammoth, I think a saber tooth. Uh, I don't think they're dinosaurs. I think I have a few woolly critters. So anyway, they were having a really good sale. I got uh, this T-Rex for I think it was like ten and a half dollars so to me that's affordable I like the half price um, so I did take it out of the packaging and I'm pleased with this for the money uh, Schleich is a really good brand period I know they make some really nice toys farm animals dinosaurs um, is is it worth it at um, the regular price, which I think is like $22, $23? Maybe, you know, if you're really into it that much. I found this to be uh, very good quality. It's heavy. It's the, you know, you've seen reviews on these, so I'm not going to overdo it. But uh, I don't know if it's 100% solid, but I know it's a heavy, solid feeling Dinosaur, uh, T-Rex, of course, you know, everybody loves the T-Rex. Uh, when the movie came out, Jurassic Park, I was uh, not really enthused with the movie the first time I saw it. And I think part of that was because back then, they did everything in Dolby, THX. And the particular theater I went to, in my opinion, really sort of overdid it. It was so loud other people were complaining like it really kind of made your teeth hurt so it sort of turned me off uh, to the movie until I managed to get it uh, as a home release not that movies and dinosaur toys really matter but they do because that movie sculpted uh, what we think dinosaurs look like and it's really had a lasting effect I do not have any of the Mattel Jurassic animals. What I do have is a very inexpensive, uh, this is either a Walmart uh, bucket or uh, maybe something from the Dollar General. I'm not sure. This is really nice. I really like the pose compared to this one from Schleich. To me, the pose is more menacing, and I like how the arms are shaped better um, but of course you know the quality here is just nowhere near uh, but I really like this particular dime store cheap dinosaur so I got this one and uh, so it, for me it was basically a two for one uh, so at the discounted price of 50 some percent off I managed to get a Brachiosaurus, or Brachiosaurus, depending where you are and how you pronounce it. It's so huge, I can't even get it in frame. Um, so I just opened this. This is the first time I've touched it. It is massive. So, um, you know, I suppose if you um, needed to protect yourself, you could absolutely wield this as a weapon. It's heavy. Uh, it must be solid. If it's not solid, it has a limited hollow core because it is a very heavy thing, and it looks great. You know, the plant eaters are exciting to me uh, just because they're so huge. It's hard to imagine anything that huge. So... Uh, a lot of the inexpensive ones will do this either right or left front leg sort of bent as if it's in motion. So, yeah, I've never had any this nice. So that was my point of doing the video. Um, I'm not um, opposed to my cheap ones because I love plastic toys. That's kind of what I grew up with in the 70s. So inarticulate plastic toys are perfectly fine with me. It would be nice if the jaw moved on this one. It does not. 
And as you know from many, many, many videos on this one, yes, the, the jaw does move. I am extremely happy with this purchase. I have a tendency in life sometimes to go with quantity over quality, depending on what I'm working with. So the sale right now, I think, is spectacular, whether you want them for uh, a child or for yourself. I don't see how you could go wrong. Uh, I intend to actually sort of use these as bookends. So, yeah, very excited. Uh, really hefty. So this one came in a mailer package with, uh, in this bag, a very lightly padded package. And then my uh, Brachiosaurus came in a box um, with some extra padding because it's, it's a pretty huge thing. <laughs> it's huge. I, li I really like the textures. That's one of the things that truly cannot be replicated um, in the really inexpensive toys. They don't seem to have, of course, uh, quite as much detail or um, scaling. Like, you, you just don't see on this what you can physically see when you hold the Schleich. But uh, see how his front little hands are um, turned? So they're turned like, you know, you would hold your hand out to shake hands with somebody. I understand that is probably more proper of how they actually should look, whereas these are down, you know, like a, like a puppy dog or, you know, so... I can't get but so nitpicky. I know people have nitpicked the tail is too short on this. I think this is probably the, the modern idea of how long the tails were. You know, you can you can go round and round in circles. The thing is, what looks good to you? The Schleich <laughs> looks really good to me. I'm very excited about it. I am really an auditory person over being a visual person. But I, I can appreciate um, the visuals and a lot of things. So this, this is great. This is a great purchase. If you can find one of these for that uh, 10 to $11 mark. And then I think on the Brachio, I think I paid 11 and a half for, for the Brachiosaurus. So yeah, so he's huge. Great deals, extremely good quality. I think this is a great way to go especially if you can get a sale. You know, maybe you can't really afford to pay uh, $25 a trinket or toy. Um, you know, so basically I was at a two for one on these and I'm really excited and I can't wait to just really closely examine the detail on this. Uh, the eyes are painted perfectly. They don't look wonky or off. It's just a really neat uh, dinosaur sculpture toy. Okay, thanks.